hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel let's start module 5 so module 5 speaks about industrial designs and geographical indications so spe specifically when you speak about industrial designs it has to be very unique right it should not be available in public domain earlier like what we had discussed about patent chapter similarly so here it will be based on design it can be the lines or it can be just a drawings or it can be like a, a kind of you know something uh, which uh, is visible through your naked eye so that you can by looking at the particular logo itself you will able to identify the brand okay those are the one of uh, you know examples for the industrial design for example uh, you are having the coca-cola bottle okay you just see, uh, if you look at the shape of the bottle itself you will understand that that is belongs to coca uh, it is belongs to the coca-cola company same thing when you speak about uh, the uh, like different perfumes like david of cool water you have it has got a particular shape and maybe when you speak about uh, the ray-ban goggles okay they have got a particular this thing and also a design and even you are having the iphone okay a design or maybe it's the apple symbol will act as a design so all these things are you know their shape or their design itself you know uh, makes them very specific and people can distinguish them from other companies so those are called industrial designs and geographical indications also like we are having Mysore Park, uh, you know, the Mysore Silsari, Darwad Peda, those kind of things will uh, come into picture. Let's start with the industrial design first. First half we'll be discussing about industrial designs and then we'll move on to the next. So uh, introduction, introduction is very simple. You know, it, the word design means it should be defined as a particular shape okay it should have a feature of a shape it should have it should have a particular the design itself should bring a particular shape or a configuration or it can be just a pattern or ornament or a composition of the lines or as well as colors which are applied to any article okay so it can be just a shape for example you have seen by looking at a mini cooper car in the entire crowd you can identify that car just by its design by just by its shape right or maybe the ferrari car you can by looking at you don't have to see the logo you, by looking at the the entire uh, the car body or car shape itself you will come to know that this particular uh, car belongs to this company okay so like that it can be a design it can be a shape it can be the design can be a shape a particular feature of shape configuration pattern ornament or composition of lines and as well as colors which are applied to any article so now the design may be of any dimension it can be one dimension two dimension or even three dimension or it can be the combination of these okay it can be anything it can be just one dimension where just the maybe just uh, how you see as in in terms of 1d or it can be 2d like a you no know, uh, what you call as a uh, maybe like a plates or a slate or maybe just a sheet kind of stuff or it can be three dimension also so in addition it may be created by any industrial process okay so it can be created by any industrial process or means that means whatever the methods you can follow whether the manual or a mechanical or a chemical or maybe a separate or combined you can use any means or any processes to you know to create this particular industrial design or uh, okay so which is in finished article appealed to and is judged solely by the eye so it should be finished article you can use any kind of you know uh, processes or any principles to create it but make sure that it should be finished article and once it is finished article it should be judged by solely by and by the eye that means by looking at the particular design I should be able to make that this design belongs to a particular industry okay so but the word design does not include any mode or a principle of construction okay so anything which is a substance is merely mechanical device right 
so the main object of the objective of the registration uh, registration of the industrial design is to why we have to do uh, register the industrial design because we can protect and incentivize the original creativity of the originator that means all the credit should go to the the one who has created the design in the first place who will act as a originator that's why you need to go for registering your industrial design also and encourage others to work towards the art of the creativity so that you can come up with new new designs with new creativity okay for your a particular company or goods or services okay so that's about the introduction to the industrial design next topic we are having eligibility criteria we'll discuss in the next class